Chad Caselny, canola breeder here at DuPont Pioneer in Carmen, Manitoba. As a canola breeder here at uh, DuPont Pioneer, I'm responsible for the creation, development, screening and uh, testing of products. Our canola breeding program has grown significantly and is still expanding with addition of the greenhouse at the facility here to include year-round growth of canola inbreds, crossing to create new inbreds, and the testing of the hybrids in the field and screening for different traits in the field as well. The canola and, uh, pipeline here at DuPont Pioneer is very exciting. We have many new traits that we're working with to include club root, uh, the increase in shatter resistance, sclerotinia resistance, as well as many other traits that we're looking out further down the line. And so the pipeline's full and we're using the newest technologies such as molecular and genomic technologies to ensure we can get these traits to market as quickly as possible. DuPont Pioneer has had a long history breeding Clearfield canola. The Clearfield program at uh, DuPont Pioneer is continuing. It's something that we're committed to and delivering high yielding, high performing products. In addition to this, we're looking at delivering new traits into the Clearfield segment, such as club root resistance, sclerotinia tolerance, and shatter resistance. I'm Derwin Hammond. I'm the area agronomist with DuPont Pioneer, and my territory runs from the U.S. border in the south up to the Swan River Valley in the north. My role of area agronomist really covers three kind of components, trials, so product evaluation as our new products come out of the research program, evaluating them at the field level and, and getting an idea of which are the best products to advance and where they have the best fit in my territory. Agronomy training is another key component, so training for the reps but also for customers. Looking at things like uh, you know plant population, how that interacts in terms of new genetics, uh, seed treatments, uh, trying to find the best protection for the genetics so that it, they perform well at the field level for the customer. It's also weed spectrum and understanding you know the strengths and challenges with each chemistry and picking the right herbicide tolerance system for those acres as well. Canola has become a real economic driver for a lot of farms in Western Canada and as a result uh, growers are increasing the frequency of it in their rotations. We know volunteer canola seed stays in the seed bank for more than a year in a lot of fields so effective volunteer management, rotating your, your herbicide tolerance system is certainly one way to help do that. If we don't control those volunteers effectively, you're creating a bridge for disease pathogens and other pest issues. We have three Clearfield uh, products currently available. Uh, one's been around for a number of years, growers are real familiar with it, but uh, a couple of new ones on the market uh, last year and this year. Uh, the first one, it's a little fuller season variety, uh, but likely to become a yield leader and really good early season vigor. And then uh, a new one this year that's back to that five maturity for those areas where fall frost risk is, is a concern and outperforming our, our previous offering uh, that's been around for a while. So we continue to work to uh, move some of the key traits, specific traits that we have available in other segments into that Clearfield platform as well. My name is Dustin Kelsey, I'm from Choice Sand, Saskatchewan. We've gone back to using Clearfield canola the last couple of years. We're finding they have a bigger and bigger fit on our farm all the time. With the new chemical Aries, it's, it's a real game changer with its increased control on lambs quarters and buckwheat and better on cleavers. It, it definitely has a bigger fit in our rotation now. I am Barry Chapel. Our operation is Chapel Egg Ventures Inc. Uh, we incorporated a couple years ago. We operate around 3,000 acres of grain and oil seeds through our farm portion of our business. We've been with uh, DuPont Pioneer for just over 12 years. It expanded our business dramatically. It, it really has uh, provided more solutions for our producers. In this area, most producers now are on a two-year rotation with canola. Trying to manage volunteers is probably where I see most producers really have to really look at it, with there's being three different seed technologies out there for herbicide tolerance, is trying to work with what fits in their operation. Clearfield system has done very well since day one in this area. Um, we've had some of the highest yielding uh, genetics in our DuPont Pioneer Clearfield products. It has been a huge fit for fitting with our climatic conditions and the weed spectrum we have with a lot of the broadleaf weeds like cleavers, uh, smart weed, those type of uh, weed spectrums. And now that Aries come out, it's far stronger on grassy weed control. Producers now that they are in a short rotation really have to look at uh, 
uh, rotating the herbicide technologies not only for uh, disease management, uh, black leg and other uh, um, disease issues, but also from a chemical, from a rotation for weed resistance as well. Producers feel very comfortable growing Clearfield canola with uh, Aries being available. In our customer base, we do recommend our producers to look at multiple systems. We're wanting to promote what's best and sustainable for their farming operation for the future. So being able to rotate between Clearfield system, between the Roundup Ready system and the Liberty system uh, is definitely a key part uh, for the future, for agriculture and for our customers in the area. I'm Chris Klobacki. We're in Nipah, Manitoba, and we run a, a grain and cattle farm as well as a seed retail Klobacki Seeds. From a grower standpoint, we've been extremely pleased with the Clearfield system. Again, I would say it's been our most profitable system on our farm. We've got really good canola varieties, really good weed control products. It's just been excellent. It uh, definitely has a huge, huge fit on our farm, and uh, we will probably be growing more Clearfield acres in the future. Keith Nightingale, and farm with my brother Dwayne, and we farm six miles north of North Balivert, Saskatchewan. The Clearfield canola has always been in our rotation for the simple fact that we rotate the Clearfield and the Roundup in our rotation, so it kind of takes care of the volunteers on either side. Um, the areas that we had sprayed this spring was on a field with a fair bit of buckwheat, was our main concern, and some cleavers, and some lambs quarters and wild oats, and it seemed to do a real fine job in that. So far, it looks, it looks really good. We got great control. We were quite happy with the liquid formulation of areas. Their liquid formulation was a lot easier and uh, it was faster and more convenient for us. My name's Andy Keene. I farm south of Manitou, Manitoba. Last year I had an opportunity to try Aries with two different Clearfield canola varieties. We chose a field that we knew we had some weed pressure on, big weed pressure, buckwheat in particular. Actually, we're very happy with how Aries absolutely smoked my buckwheat. I was surprised, the grasses as well, we had very good control on that. Even in the fall at swathing time, we noticed just completely crisp uh, the wild buckwheat. Very happy with how it turned out. It was actually my best yielding canola on the farm and we've got a beautiful clean field. We were very satisfied with our Clearfield program this year.